okay so the next is uh, bond parameters okay so some bond parameters are the the number one the first parameter that is bond length bond length actually if we have a bond between two atoms a and b both the nucleus of this atom like this the nucleus of this atom is also like this then what is the average average distance between the nucleus of these two atoms is represented as the bond length okay so what is bond length that is a average distance between two atoms in bonded state average uh, internuclear distance that's better average internuclear distance between two atoms in bonded state okay so that is defined as what bond length fine let the radius of this atom be ra plus and radius of this atom be rb plus or ra rb okay then if electronegativity what is chi the symbol chi that represents electronegativity electro negativity okay if electronegativity of chi a is similar to chi b if electronegativity of uh, chi a similar to electronegativity of a and b similar then the bond length will be equal to the sum of the sum of distance between uh, the sum of the uh, radius of uh, both atoms okay bond length will be equal to that or if the if there is if the electronegativity of a chi a and electronegativity of b chi b they are not equal then what happen means the bond length which will be less than the distance between uh, sum of uh, distance uh, radius of the two atoms okay so if there is a electronegativity difference the bond will be more closer ready there will be a pull towards uh, the more electronegative atom okay now let's discuss what are the factors depends on bond length factors depends on bond length number 1 size of atom size of atom size of atom that is directly proportional to bond length which means as the size increases bond length increases so the next uh, example if i have hydrogen halide hydrogen halide then what is the bond length of hydrogen halide is h i have greater bond length than h b r than h c f than h f okay since we are moving from left to right what happens the size of halogen decreases automatically the bond length uh, the bond length of what here we are considering the bond length of h and x okay so the bond length of h and x is greater for your um, hi than hbr than hcl than hf okay next i'll give you one more example if the bond length of hch category for h2 se have greater bond length sorry h2 te have greater bond length than h2 se have greater bond length than h2 s have greater bond length than h2 o okay so this is first factor size of the atom which depends the bond length the second factor that is second factor that is hybridization hybridization of atoms okay if there is a single bond between two sp3 hybridized carbon then its bond length its bond length is 
154 pi cos theta. 154 pi cos meter. Okay. If there is a sp2 carbon bonds, sp2 overlap between carbons, then the bond length decreases. But the bond length will come 134 pi cos meter. If it is sp overlaps, then the very same bond length will come 120 pi cos meter. Okay. So the bond length that depends on what hybridization. Ready? Next depends on bond order. Bond order. Bond order means number of bond between atoms. Number of bond between atoms. So bond order is inversely proportional to bond length. As the bond order increases, automatically bond length decreases. Okay. For example, single bond between oxygen, one and a half bond between oxygen, double bond between oxygen. Okay. Let me write the values, bond length. This is actually nearly 148 pi cometer. This is 121 pi cometer. Sorry. 128 pi cometer. And this is 121 pi cometer. So from uh, top to bottom, what happens? Bond order increased. Therefore, bond length decreased. That depends on the bond length. Uh, that is uh, number three. Number three is that mm, resonance. Resonance change the bond length. I think this is number four, right? Okay, for example, this is one, this is two, ready. So this is a um, bond length, uh, where the bond, and this is carbon, carbon double bond, right? Wait, go here, C1 and C2. This is a carbon number one, carbon number two. C1 and C2, that's single bond. So we have an expectation of 154 pi cometer bond length. Okay, but what about its resonance structure? And this bond jumps to here, this to here, and this to here. Then you obtain a resonance structure like this. And still now you're very same one and two here. Now the C1, C2 bond is, I'm sorry, here the C1, C2 bond is what? Here the C1, C2 bond is a double bond, right? So the bond angle is 134 pi cometer. Here the C1, C2 bond is a single bond, so the bond angle is, sorry, bond length is 154 pi cometer, not bond angle, bond length. But actually, the equivalent hybrid structure of uh, benzene indicates that benzene, where the all carbon have all carbon have 1.5 bond order, 1.5 bond order. Okay, so therefore the C1 and C2 have 1.5 bond order, where the bond length is 139 pi cometer. So actually, the bond length is not 134 or 154. That is our expectation, but the real one is 139 by cometer. How the bond length change means that depends on the resonance. Okay. So moving to the next bond parameter. The next bond parameter that is a bond angle. Bond angle. Okay. So what do you mean by bond angle means? Uh, that is nothing but that is a angle between two bonds. Bond angle is the angle between two bonds. Okay, so let a bond A, there is a molecule like this. Okay, if this is a first bond and this is a second bond, then what is the angle created between them that is said to be the theta, so theta is known as bond angle. 
So this is the first AB bond, this is the second AB bond. And what is the angle formed between the two AB bonds? That is said to be the bond angle. Okay, that's all. And we are familiar with the uh, lot of bond angles, right? So the next factors affecting bond angle. Or what are the factors that depends on bond angle? Okay, number one. Uh, electronegativity, electronegativity of central atom, electronegativity of central atom, that means electron, you can write the electronegativity of central atom using this one, electronegativity of central atom increases then bond angle increases proportional to bond angle if the electronegativity of the central atom increases then its bond angle increases i'll give you example bond angle in uh, 15th group hydride greater bond angle is for ammonia then phosphine then arsine, styrene, like that. This is the order of bond angle. Then why this follows the typical order means from left to right, electronegativity decreases. Electronegativity of the decreases since it is a down the tube, automatically bond angle decreases. Okay. Another example, if I have H2O. So the bond angle of H2 is much greater than bond angle of uh, H2S, uh, okay? And that is greater than bond angle of H2SC, and that is greater than the bond angle of H2T, okay? Next, related to the surrounding atom, electronegativity of surrounding atom increases electronegativity of surrounding atom increases bond angle decreases bond angle of the central atom decreases okay i'll give you example if i have wait if i have a category of2 oh2 ocl that of water okay nearly the bond angle here is 103 here 110 and the whole half is structure like this pyramidal sorry bench shape bench shape obr to the bond angle is nearly 100 degree okay so bond angle increasing from left to right from left to right what happens electronegativity of the surrounding atom surrounding atom decreases therefore the bond angle increases like that, if we consider the PF3, for well, the bond angle of PF, surrounding atom is fluorine, much electronegative. So the bond angle of uh, PF3, that will be less than uh, bond angle in PCL3, <coughs> and that will be less than bond angle in PBR3. Okay, the very same reason here also. Next, <coughs> number three, presence of electron pair. Presence of electron pair. Ready. Electron pair means either it is a lone pair or it is a negative charge. Or it is a negative charge. As the electron pair increases, uh, chance for bond angle decreases. Okay. Electron pair directly proportional to, sorry, inversely proportional to bond angle. 
for example for example listen <coughs> have nh3 ch4 oh2 okay they all have four vscp total but the combination is four and zero here three and one here two and two which means here no lone pair so we have two lone pair here have one lone pair so what about the bond angle we already know the bond angle okay the bond angle here is 109.5 degree here 107 degree here 104.5 degree okay so There is a change of 2.5 degree, right? Okay, so we can generalize a statement in a particular case that as number of lone pair increases, here there is no lone pair, here is one, here is two. As number of lone pair increases, what happens means a bond angle will be decreased by uh, 2.5 degree. Okay, ready? If some questions are the arranged following in a bond angle order. So if you give NO2, NO2 plus NO2 minus, okay, you know that NO2s are odd electron species, okay, when that electron is removed, it becomes NO2 plus, when one more electron is added to it, become NO2 minus, okay, so what will the bond angle means will be like this, okay, because from here to here, from left to right, uh, electron pair decreases, bond angle increases. Really, the bond angle of this one is uh, nearly 115 degree, and this is 133 degree, and this is the carbon dioxide structure 180 degree. Okay, so here no electron closely charged. Here is a pair of electron, this is in between that. Okay, so that is a general statement. Ready. The next idea, what is the number? Number four. Number four. Or we can find this also. Wait. Move when before moving to the number four. This have a lone pair. When it absorbs H plus, lone pair is a donator, right? So no lone pair here. What about H two? Have two lone pair. When it accept one H plus, there will be uh, one lone pair to form H three plus. Okay. So by considering the um, bond angle here, one not seven degree, here one not nine point five degree, here one not four point five degree, here nearly one not seven degree. Okay. So as the number of bond pair decreases, number of lone pair decreases, bond angle increases. Right. Okay. So moving to the next point. The next idea. The next is hybridization. Hybridization of what? Hybridization of uh, single atom. Okay. As percent P and percent B character increases or percent S character. Decreases bond angle increases. It is better to say that uh, okay, as the percentage of uh, S character decreases, bond angle decreases. Okay. Ready. Wait. SP, SP2, SP3. SP the bond angle is 180 degree. SP2 120 degree. SP2 109.5 degree. Okay. Ready. Fine. So these all are the uh, ideas about the bond angle. Uh, one more idea. Fine. Bond angle and 
बॉन्ड ऑर्डर बॉन्ड एंगल है बॉन्ड ऑर्डर ओके वेट बॉन्ड एंगल बिटवीन बॉन्ड एंगल बिटवीन डबल डबल बॉन्ड्स इफ देयर आर टू डबल बॉन्ड्स देन इट्स बॉन्ड एंगल इज कंपैरेटिवली ग्रेटर देन the very same geometry with a double and single bond whose bond angle is comparatively greater than the very same geometry with a single bond and single bond okay so as the bond bond multiplicity increases the angle between them also increases okay this due to the repulsion the next is bond energy bond energy You know what is a bond energy? It is energy required to break one mole of a particular bond. Energy required to break one mole of particular bond. One mole of a particular bond. Okay. And let's discuss what are the factors that depends on bond, uh, bond order. Sorry, bond energy, bond strength or bond energy. Number one, bond order. Okay. As the bond order increases, bond energy increases. Bond order increases, bond energy increases. Bond energy of carbon. carbon bonds if we consider the bond energy of carbon carbon bonds then carbon carbon triple bond have greater bond energy than carbon carbon double bond have greater bond energy than carbon carbon single bond because that depends on the uh, bond order okay the next bond length bond length is inversely proportional to bond energy bond length is inversely proportional to bond energy. okay Uh, I'll give you some examples. Bond energy of uh, bond energy between I A bond that is less than B R B R bonds that is less than C L C L bond. Okay, ready. And bond energy of H I bond that is less than. Bond energy of HBr less than HCl less than H, and that's uh, based on the size of atom. And since the size of atom increases, bond length decreases. As the bond length decreases, bond energy decreases. Okay. So in these two cases, from here to here, uh, size of atom increases, and the counter effect that is bond length uh, decreases. That's why the strength of bond increases. Okay. And you know that bond energy. There is a concept that uh, bond energy, the concept very uh, that is equivalent to bond strength. Okay, as the bond energy increases, it is uh, difficult to break the bond, which means the strength of that bond is increased. Okay, the next extension of our lap. Extension of our lap. Okay. Sigma bond, bond energy of sigma bond that is greater than what pi bond. Since the sigma bond have greater extent of overlapping, bond energy of uh, hybrid orbital overlapping between two hybrid orbitals is uh, much greater than overlapping between. Hybrid orbital and atomic orbital greater than two atomic orbitals, and these all are based on the extent of overlap. Okay. Next, number four. Presence of land pair. Presence of land pair. Okay. Carbon-carbon bond. There is 
is not long. Yeah. Hence, the bond energy is greater than nitrogen nitrogen single bond. For nitrogen nitrogen bond, there is a long pair. That is greater than oxygen oxygen bond. There is two long pair. That is greater than fluorine fluorine bond. That is actually three bond pairs. Okay, fine. So the presence of these bond pairs which offers a great repulsion with that bond where the bond is much weaker. Okay. Not, uh, what I say, not bond energy of halogen. Actually, our expectation, our expectation is that halogen have bond energy, uh, fluorine have greater bond energy than fluorine, than bromine, than iodine. Okay, but actually, reality, fluorine have greater bond energy than bromine, which have greater bond energy, followed by fluorine, and the last one is iodine. Why the fluorine occupies the third position means, fluorine have three lone pair, which increase, uh, fluorine have three lone pair, moreover, all halogen have three lone pairs around it, moreover, the bond is much short. Since the bond length is uh, much shorter, with the, surrounded by uh, a lot of lone pair, there will be greater repulsion which weakens the bond, so bond energy automatically decreases. Okay.